Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4. This is Sandman Presents. And just taking a look at all of our perks, our weight, caps, damage, and... You know, in this video, I really want to focus on adventuring a little bit more than we did in the last video. Uh, first, I want to finish up this sanctuary quest where we're going to provide food, water, and whatnot for the settlers of Sanctuary Hills. But before we do that, I wanted to show you, if you go to workshops in your data section, you can see that we still have a, a sign for our, um, <coughs> our defense. And so we need to work on that. Here's just a couple of stats that we've accumulated along the way. <coughs> Killed 19 people, 20 creatures. Good deal. Plants harvested 60, items scrapped 188. 12 lock picks and two computers hacked. Good deal. Let's uh, let's move forward. Do I look like I want to chit chat? What? Let's Marcy, trade some things. You're going to get what's coming for you. We're going to put s some ridiculous outfit on her. What? Let's see what we have in the workshop. She's so negative, like all the time. What do we have? Could put a casual outfit. How about this, like, one of the laundry uh, dresses? Let's go with blue. That'll work. Maybe this will make her happy. I want to trade a few things. Oh, Marcy, you're gonna like this. <laughs> Just when you think you're safe, you're not. That's how they always get you. Ah, still negative. Oh well. Let's uh, get ready for this adventure. I want to make sure I have everything ready for it. Uh, sorting everything. Hey! It's cool to see someone go into the little building I built. Um, doing some inventory switching out. Going to see if I can take some of the mods off these weapons and armor and put them on the current armor and weapons that we have. And in the meantime, we're going to cook up some stuff. It'll be fun. Alright, I've uh, been using this baseball bat a lot and I really want to upgrade it. Uh, we don't have the uh, necessary perk to t put bladed on there or chain wrapped. We'll need blacksmith at least level 1. And we will be getting that later on. But for right now, I have a really good idea for this bat. Um, if you're a fan of The Walking Dead, I think you might recognize this bat. So we'll make it black. It only costs five wood. And we're going to upgrade it with the barbed wire. And what do you know? We have a familiar looking bat. It just needs to be renamed. And this will be our primary weapon for melee uh, for the foreseeable future. And what do we have but Lucille? Uh, of course, Negan's weapon of choice and the in the walking dead and if you're uh if you read the comics you know a little bit about negan and how awesome negan is as a character um I'm really not finding a lot of mods that i can take off the weapons right now that i want to add to like a uh, sniper rifle or the 10 millimeter so i definitely want to come back later Whenever we have more uh, mods to, to choose from. But for right now, I'm really not finding a whole lot. But maybe our armor has a little bit more of a selection. What this uh, psycho jet and psycho uh, stuff that you can make are really neat. Although we're not using stim packs in this run, I think it's really cool that. You know, we'll make a couple and and probably sell them in a future episode, especially 
to get some of the more rare items. All right, uh, let's see if there's anything we can make, and there's not. So it looks like we're about ready to uh, take a dump of all of our junk into the workshop and head out and actually maybe find a raider or two. I really want to do one of the radiant quests for the Minutemen. And um, so we'll do that now. <clears throat> but I wanted to show you a little bit about how to get purified water. We had toyed with it earlier about pur putting a water purifier, water purifier in our little lake area. But we're going to go ahead and do that so we can start getting purified water in our workshop. Um, now with this water purifier, we're going to go to resources and water. And we don't have the necessary upgrade for the other one. But we do have it for this, and it requires at least two electricity. So once you put this in the water and power it up, you'll not only provide water for the community, but you'll also get that purified water, which you're trying to get a lot of right now so that we can have uh, purified water for the vegetable starch, which will be a very valuable resource when, when we're trying to get a lot of adhesive. So I will be building a wall around this community. So I wanted to make sure that this uh, generator was not in the way if we were to build a wall. Go ahead and connect your little connector. We'll, on PC, you just hit uh, space bar and you're, ever, you're able to move that little power line over. Uh, there is a distance, uh, like a max distance that the um, line can go. So we will make sure that your generator or a uh, power uh, uh, adapter or something is nearby, so that you're not, e so that you can get your uh, line to where you need it to go. Cleaning up a little bit, trying to get everything looking good in the sanctuary. Really need to add more decorations here, and um, but. As we see our defense is zero right now and it's in red, we need to add defense. I certainly want to upgrade the gun nut perk so we can get better uh, turrets later on. But now our defense is increased by five. And I'll be doing a lot more mods and upgrades and things like that. But you can still see that even though we have five, uh, our defense still has a little warning sign by it. Um, what the good news is that the community is getting happier so that's really good. Let's go back to Concord. I want to get one last thing before we can consider this officially looted. Let's go down to the little sewer area where the death claw came out of. There's a couple of things down there that I want to get and there's I think some some uh, enemies down here that we need to be very careful about facing. I do love this bat, and um, it's actually more powerful than you think it is. I didn't know about a lot about melee before this run, um, as I normally use a sniper type character, but I'm, I'm extremely happy with the way this, this character is gone. And, uh, as, you know, when you put power armor with this melee type approach, it's, it's quite powerful. We'll go down there later. Um, oh god. The Marillac. I hate these guys. Uh, we're just going to throw a grenade back there and, and hope it works. If I can find it. I thought I had it hotkeyed. Okay. Let's make sure it's equipped. Let's make sure we kill the, every one of these. Whoa! Wow. That was awesome. Is there more of them back there? <laughs> oh jeez. Was not ready for that. Where's my bat? Ugh. Okay. Whew. I love the frag grenades. Those things are awesome. They're so powerful. 
mirror lurks. I hate those things, man. Especially when you find a legendary one of those. These were these were easy compared to what we're gonna face later on. I could blow off one of the heads. <coughs> a foot? Is that a? It's weird. Was that dog meat, man? I thought it was another uh, mole rat. Ugh. It's disgusting. <coughs> All right, let's move on. I'll do a quick save. See if we run into anything really nasty. One shot. There you go. One shot kills. Almost too easy, right? Makes me wonder if we're on survival. I'm pretty sure we are. Let's just double check. Yeah. It's on survival difficulty. All right, good deal. Getting a lot of damage out of the uh, 10 millimeter. Got another one of these Meyer Lurks. I don't think I can crawl under there. <coughs> Where is that thing? I know it's around here somewhere. Is that it down in the corner? Yeah, that's it. Let's kind of lure it out and maybe use a frag grenade to take it out. <coughs> of course, you have to aim at this, the the uh, body area or the legs so that you can get a clean hit and it takes out more damage. Let's see what kind of damage this does. Good deal. I love these frag grenades. All right, man, dog meat is getting destroyed. I I really don't think you should waste your stim packs on dog meat because he can never like not like you, um, if that makes sense. So it'd be kind of a waste of a stim pack unless you're, you know playing a role-playing aspect and uh, then you definitely want to use a stim pack. <laughs> it's a trap! I feel like something's around this corner. Right? Has to be. Gotta get those valuable aluminum cans. <laughs> I bet I'm the only person that loses those aluminum cans. If it's not nailed down, I'll take it. Hell yeah. Hey. Magazine. Permanently unlock a new facial tattoo. Huh. And you can go to... When you go to Diamond City, you can actually equip a facial tattoo, which is pretty neat. I'll take those pillows. Maybe I'll put them in Sanctuary Hills. Somebody could use a pillow. Is that another Mire Lark? I don't have any more frag grenades, so... I just have these mines. Maybe we could lure him over here and... He run and... It's not... Is that a dead? Is that the one we just uh, killed? Surely it isn't, right? Yeah, I'd say it's dead. <laughs> I'd say that's the dead one. I'm gonna take our mind back, at least. Sure enough. All right. <clears throat> Got everything down here. Let's go up. Going up. Nope. Maybe something back here. Life preserver, not much. What's this guy up to? Huh. That jet, bad stuff, boy.
Is that everything? I think I might have missed a little container back there, but maybe we'll come back to it. Got some rad riches. Still have a lot of ammo for this gun. I'm enjoying like saving as much of it as possible. Get him, dog meat. Good boy. <laughs> I like dog meat's little bandana and goggles. It's cool. You can find dog armor, and we'll find that uh, hopefully the next couple of videos. So we're back in the Commonwealth. I feel like we pretty much got everything in the uh, sewer area. And we're ready to move a little bit. We're heading towards the quest that um, that we were given for the Minutemen. Joining the Minutemen. St what? I'm like stuck in a tree. <laughs> All right. Sorry, got interrupted. Had to make a quick edit there. Let's see what's down here. Huh? Thicket excavations. We'll come back to that a little bit later on. But um, right now, I really don't want to unlock a lot of areas that we're not going to explore. Um, so that our map is pretty clear. And when we get ready to go, we'll unlock it when we're there. All right. Let's move forward. It is a pretty cool area over there. Got some uh, blood leaves. I feel like there's something in this lake. There probably is. Regardless, we'll uh, we'll go in that lake later on. You want to be as careful as possible uh, when when going down these roads, like. You could spam your uh, VATS button to make sure that if an enemy is around, you, you at least get a heads up. I haven't used VATS yet or a stem pack, so I'm really happy with the way this character is evolving. Down there is a, a place where there's a lot of ghouls, uh, so I want to come back to that a little bit later on when we're leveled up a little bit. I think there's a couple of magazines too that you can get down there. So we're almost to where we're going. Let's take a little look over this hill, make sure that we're not going into enemy territory. The hub flower. Where's this at? I thought we were just there. <laughs> Maybe it's over this hill. Got the little countdown counter down there, saying we're getting closer. We found it. Let's see if there's anything. Nope. Let's go talk to uh, one of the settlers here. And I forgot to holster my weapon here, hey so she draws her want? gun we immediately. Don't need any more trouble around here. Take it easy. I'm with the Minutemen. I'm here to help. You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traders, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days after Quincy. Bad business, that. Is there something you need my help with? Whew. Yeah. I'm damn glad you're here. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. I'll take care of them. Thanks, friend. If you folks are for real this time, it'll be a welcome change for the better. So, she gives you a little mission, and once you complete it, you can actually have this area 
as another settlement. Um, so we definitely want to complete this for her. But before we do anything, I want to pick up all these Tato plants so that we can have some for Sanctuary Hills. Really want to build a garden back in Sanctuary Hills and beef that up so we have like 100 food, even though you only need one per settler. Excuse Let's me. See what this guy has to say. Um, hello? You know what I call a good day? One that ends without an empty stomach. Aw, that's kind of depressing. Get this last tato. Potato. Um, where is this taking us? wonder how far that is. Let's look at our map. Oh, man. That is a long path. Good grief. Well, I want to complete this, but we'll take some traveling. Ugh. Let's get our seal out. Sorry, dog meat. I think I hit you. That rad roach meat. Good deal. A lot of blood around there. All right. So, did you hear something? I heard something. And there is something going off in the distance. Let's get our sniper rifle out and see what's going on. Something is not right. We got some action ahead. Hotkey that number three. And huh. Is that a raider? We need to go down there and see what's up. Raider in a looks like a dog. Get that. There you go. Killed that one. Just had to um, hold my breath a little bit so I got a clear shot. Those guys look friendly. Let's go down there and see um, if they have anything to say and loot those bodies we just killed. Every once in a while, you'll see a little quick edit. I have to, sometimes I get the door, uh, someone at the door, or my dog starts barking, I have to edit it real quick. <coughs> oh man, he got shot in the leg or something. Hello? You're lucky I got here when I did. I know. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to know of any good places to settle around here, would you? I'm tired of always being on the run. Um... What are you looking for? I just want to find some place safe to Maybe. live. Maybe. Without these assholes trying to kill me all the time. Why? Do you know of a good place? Nah, can't think um, of anything. Um, oh, I was just asking. <laughs> Thanks again for your help. See you around. Uh, wait. Hey. No, I, help I could actually stranger. use some help. Thanks. Hey, thanks for your help. Got a dangerous Wait, look about no. You. I can't get him to me. have that same dialogue. Oh, wait. Maybe his friends can come. Hey. Didn't expect help from a stranger. Thanks. I was just passing through. It was my lucky day then. You wouldn't happen to know of any good places to settle around here, would you? I'm tired of always being on the run. I sure do. <laughs> now it looks like I'm only uh, in a day or two. getting the girls to come. I just want to trade a few things. And hob along. Right. We'll see if I can get him to come now. Huh. Just wanted to trade a few that things. That razor grain. Hadn't come across that yet. That was the same guy. Let's talk, let's talk to Hoblong. I guess he's going with them. Good deal. So we've got three more settlers in Sanctuary Hills. We'll have to go back and add some beds and enough food, water for them to... I'll make sure I I'll loot this raider up here that we killed.
All right. You can go either way from here, but we have a specific location that we're going to marked on the map. I am using uh, the official guide for some aspects of this game. So that's been very helpful. Man, we've got a long way to go. I think we might do better if we fast traveled to Concord and actually just made a straight line down. Which way is it? Is it this way? I know there are a couple of little secondary locations down here that I wanted to loot. There's a lot right by this museum. There's one. A little shopping cart. Let's see what it has. Hey, it's got some Nuka Cola. And the baseballs roll off. Let's see if we can find them in a bit. Can't loot that. Try to run it into it. There it is. Alright, where'd these baseballs go to? <laughs> Talk to me. Calm down there, boy. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to find those. They're long gone. We went down here. This is where we uh, didn't run into any raiders the first time. Let's see if there's anything down here. Got some hub flower. This looks, looks a lot like, uh, oh, what's the flower in Skyrim? Is it Death, Death Bell, I think's the name of it. After I played Skyrim, I was always looking around for, I, I would be randomly driving down the road and, and see some flowers or something and thought, I need to pick those, make some medicine. Changed my life. Of course, I don't pick the flowers. Just saying. Maybe this is something. Got a toolbox at least. Anything else? I think that's all other than the skull that I'm going to take randomly. You okay there, boy? Sounds like he has a upset stomach. I love this bat. <laughs> it's so awesome. We'll definitely upgrade in the future, I'm just saying. For right now, without the blacksmith... Whoa! Dog meat just flew! Without the blacksmith perk, we'll, uh, we'll use it. I'm trying to be very conservative with upgrading. Uh, like, adding any other mods to our weapons and things like that. Wolfgang. We'll see what Wolfgang's up to. Uh, anyway, I'm trying to be conservative with it so we can save some adhesive for later on. Deal, Trudy. Hand over the goods. Let's get a you little. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. Do you know what that junk has done to my boy? Let's uh, let's add, get our tuxedo out and see if we can add some charisma to this. Settle this peacefully. Have anything that would help my charisma out? Maybe. That? Looked like a day tripper. I want to save those. Might take it in a bit. Um. Maybe not. He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Might just have to go with Ain't my uh, strung out. charisma Don't stat. Don't make me come in there and shoot up that little trading post of yours. I feel like we need to go in here Excuse first and to try out our charisma. You can thank that poison seller outside for that. Why? What's going on? Wolfgang thinks I owe him money. I say he got my son Patrick hooked on chems and cheated him out of our savings. Look, I've been in a shootout before and I don't like our odds. You for hire? I've got a hundred caps if you help us get rid of that chem pusher. 
Your offer seems a little low for a man's life. Fair enough. Say 125 caps. All right, Trudy. I'll get rid of him. Thank you. I could press it, but I think I'll 125 is fine. Go get him. I'll kill all you chem pushers. And they shoot immediately without warning. Uh, this is not good. I don't have any of my armor on. Let's go ahead and put this on and attack. Do it. Leroy Jenkins. I'm just gonna charge in, boys. Leroy, get him. Oh. Died in my underwear. That's never a good sign. Yeah. I don't think charging in is the best idea at this level. So, yeah. I definitely want to have something under my armor, too, so that I don't. Don't die in my underwear again. Took out Wolfgang. Alright, get him, dog meat. Good stuff. Where's this other person? There she is. Man. 10 millimeters is powerful at times. Sometimes it just doesn't, doesn't do the job. Oh, this is my opportunity. There. That's... Yeah. Thank goodness. That's for killing me and my underwear. I will strip you all of your clothes. Alright, let's find Wolfgang. He's like a, right over here, wasn't he? Or... Not? Wolfgang? Like, disappeared. Was it over there somewhere? I know there's like a little box to open, right? No? Yeah, he has to be around here somewhere. I bet he's in a bush somewhere. These bushes? Wolfgang? Hey, there he is. He's hiding. Get out of here, Wolfgang. I feel like they should be together their dying wish to be side by side there you go we'll see what Trudy has to say hope she gives me something good <laughs> I can't wait to see the crows feeding on that scumbag here Trudy? this is for you now if you ever need to trade my shop's open you got things covered good for deal. Me. yeah it's gonna take my son a Got while a to vendor. get off the chems, but we'll make it. We always do. Now let's get back to business. You need anything for the road? I'll think about it. Maybe. Never take a hit of Jed again. I swear. We'll come back to her. Bye. God, your chain just itching all over. I'll be okay. Yeah. I'll be okay. Kind of don't leave him. So everything in this store is marked with a red uh, label. That means that if you take it, it would be stealing. And um, I mean, I guess it could just kill everyone in this store after you hell. like you. freed you that. And uh, I don't think it'd be stealing. Let's see what you have. It's all worth every cap I'm charged. Yeah, everything in your store. What does she have? Um, you can get bags of cement and fertilizer for your uh, sanctuary and little places. Got a Brahmin skull. That's weird. Chemistry jar. Death claw. Hey, we could use some duct tape. Maybe we have some things that we could trade with. Oh my goodness. General Chow's Revenge. Wow. The total cost is a lot. And we don't have any of the perks that are for um, selling things or bartering. Let's we'll see if we can find anything that would help us barter. Let's wear our tuxedo. Um, maybe take that day tripper. 
or a chem to help us barter. Because I really want that sword. Anything? Adds three to charisma. Yeah. Let's try this out and see if it helps. <coughs> I got a store <laughs> here. You yeah. Buy? I've got a few minutes to browse. All salvage, but nothing's junk. Okay, I did make this video, this part of the video, a little faster because I was doing everything I could to get this sword. It turns out my barter is just not there. I mean, I was adding all sorts of stuff to sweeten the pot. And in the end, I just didn't think it was a good idea to just dump all of this stuff. And, and when I could go back, build my barter up and get the sword later on. So I sped it up just to show you how much you would have to trade to actually get that sword. We will be coming back to it though. I can promise you that. So we're on our way to the plant. I had to make a short cut right there. Um, someone had come in and, and started talking. But I do know there's some little mosquitoes over here you want to take out. That sneak damage is awesome. And at some point in this game, I. I really want to sneak, uh, change from melee to sneak, uh, sneak type character. We'll have some, uh, we'll have some uh, changes to our our style of gameplay later on to make it fresh. So let's loot these these mosquitoes. Mainly, I just want to get to the uh, that plant that we're going to and mark it on our map so that we can fast travel there when we need to. Got some stuff on top of this. Nothing to lead around it. Oh, sweet! Nuka-Cola Quantum. It's like I missed a Nuka-Cola there. <laughs> nothing. Got nothing. I do that every time on a claw machine. I I love those, but I always always miss it. Nothing in there. I think that's everything. All right, moving forward. Random house over there. Really don't want to unlock a whole lot of stuff on the way. This one should be fine. There's a lot of these little houses and places that you can go to. Shade the slant. Let's take that. Those are so easy to miss, these little first aid kits. There's not a lot in this house. Maybe there's like a tunnel or something and I'm missing. Uh, I guess that's it. Oh well. I love the ambient music in this. But <laughs> I wish I could turn on the radio and I might later on. Ooh, I need a master lock. But I definitely don't want to um, have to take the video down because of copyright issues. Okay. See if there's anything in these little trains. Train sections. This one's open. A little crate in there. Let's see if there's anything good. Some ammo boxes. Always oh, could use more at right away. It's helpful. Um, we'll see. I think we're getting close. It should just be straight ahead. You see all those red uh, globes in the distance. That's where we need to go. This area is Lexington. 
we will be getting to Lexington and going through it, but I kind of want to circumvent it right now and get to the plants because there's a lot to do in Lexington. And um, as you can see, just like sniping in, there's so much and there's a lot of enemies and stuff. So I want to just stick to the path for this um, Minuteman quest. For right now, at least. Doesn't help, doesn't hurt to just look in though, you know? We can unlock the city. That's all I wanted to do is unlock Lexington so we could come back here a little bit later on. So much to explore. This game is massive. Let's check out this building. Is that Nuka Cola Quantum? Yeah. Sure is. Let's go up there. <laughs> Let's Good aim. Good aim. Let's quick save and let in case there's like a random enemy enemy that we didn't see. Toy. There we go. I guess the question is, how are we going to get this Nuka-Cola Quantum? Can I just jump up there and get it? Surely, right? Should just be able to jump and collect it. There it is. Let's get the Nuka-Cola. Oh, kind of dips down there in the middle. A little bit harder to get these. I guess you could just shoot them all off, but... I'm going to save the ammo. Oh. Well, we fell. Let's try it again. Just <laughs> a couple more. Got that one. There it is. Got this last, these last couple. I don't know even if I could get those. Ah. Oh well. No big deal. It's a nice looking car. I think that's everything in this little building. We're like right on the edge of this, this plant. It's over here to our left. And there are a buttload of enemies around here. I definitely want to be well equipped and um, I'm going to use my power armor just to power through that and we'll come back later on to loot it after we de destroy everyone in there. But first, this looks interesting. Is this uh, a lot of raiders around here? No, wait. This is where all the mole rats are, aren't there? Let's take this out real quick. It's never good to have a dead body right at the entrance. Our carry weight's getting pretty up there. Put on some armor real quick. <laughs> Always forget to put that little under armor under uh, whatever so we're not in our underwear I'm okay with dying in the game but I definitely want to don't want to die in my underwear again I just know there's mole rats like all over this place children of the atom um, remember them a little bit from Fallout 3 so maybe we'll get to learn a little bit about their story in Fallout 4. Straight ahead. What to tell you? I think there's a lot more mole rats. And they're right behind us. Oh crap. Hey. Lucille's awesome. That one had a screwdriver in it. 
weird. Maybe somebody stabbed the mole rat and he always had it. That was just our dog. Alright, I'm gonna take some uh, rat X so that all this radiation in there is not gonna damage us as much. Put those as a dude over there. Hardened Raider Armor. It's our first hardened type of armor. That will come in handy. Okay. Let's uh, fast hack this little terminal and see what's on the inside. I'm in. Maybe it'll tell us a little bit about the children of the atom. Remember, you can always back out if you run out of or down to your final uh, try. Praise Adam, our pilgrimage is at an end. Holy resting place of the brothers. Savages. Group of Philistines approached. Promised glad tidings, touting their wares like whores. <laughs> Glory unto the Adam. Oh shrine, oh the shrine. We collect Adam's power in barrels. Let's, there's a safe right here to the left, so we'll unlock it through the terminal and see what's in it. I'm so glad we found that hardened armor. Hey, another piece. Lightweight, hardened right leg. So we're um, trying to build up our armor. Got a couple of pieces of hardened armor. We'll definitely want to get as many of those as possible since we're a melee character. See if there's anything in this little area. Hot plate. Maybe once we liberate this place or destroy everyone in the Cordova plant, we can go back and set up a uh, supply line between where we were and Sanctuary Hills. So that we could build up the defense, we could put up some uh, stores and whatnot. Just a regular mole rat. Easy enough. What you gotta watch out for are rabid mole rats. And I think there's an irradiated mole rat. This will take a little bit longer to hit and uh, take out. Oh crap. Did not see that trap at all. <laughs> I think it was just a grenade hanging from the, the uh, lift there. Alright, here's some rabid mole rats. Normally it takes like one hit, but it takes four to take out these uh, rabid ones. Three or four. Oh! Sorry dog meat. Hey, how you doing, buddy? I'm so glad Dogmeat doesn't care. Eh, never mind, boy. I'm sorry, Dogmeat. Please forgive me. He is growling at me, so... Hopefully he still likes me. Ugh. We've got a lot of these Children of the Atom uh, rags. go down here? Yeah, we did. Let's see if there's anything on top of this truck or in this uh, little section. Maybe there's something on top of this car. This is kind of cool. Should have hidden something in there. I think we just have this one last place to search. And there's more small rats. There we go. Maybe I'll restore some of my health. Small rats. Again, Vats comes in really handy 
if you don't know where your enemy is. Right. Should be all the mole rats looted. Some ammo. Let's see what this guy has. Cigar box. I might convert all my residents at Sanctuary Hills into Children of Adam. <laughs> Make them put on the, the rags. Because remember, you can dress all of your settlers up any way you want. Which is fantastic. <laughs> Anything over here? It's like a toolbox here. Nice. Alright. So is that a trap? Looks like it was a um up oh, too fat to fornicate. So we need to trade some off to dog meat. Which is really handy. I think a lot of people forget that dog meat can actually carry a whole lot. And again, we're still able to use our lone survival perk, which is fantastic. And uh, you can actually upgrade that and upgrade the perk attack dog and I'm fairly confident that you can bring dog meat and another uh, campaign in. I might be wrong about that. Might be wrong. I'm digging that hardened raider armor. That's that's awesome. Man, he can carry so much stuff. Look at all this. Wow. This is amazing. What else can he hold? Some knuckles? Some of these guns? Okay, that's his limit. It's like 150. It's incredible. What was that? Oh, okay. I just walked into that trap. That would have been that 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter pistol. It would have shot you if you hit that corner. Need to be more careful around those uh, traps. Let's see what we have. Any Nuka Cola in here? Hey, Nuka Cherry. Looks like there was a little uh, bomb or something like that we needed to pick up. And we've been in there. I should be just about everything looted. Um, if I missed something, it, it would have been small. So let's heal up a little bit so in case we run into anyone. And make a quick dash to the um, Cordova plant. Hey, eat some noodle, uh, a noodle cup. That'd be nice. Building up. What else we get? Some uh, mole rat chunks should do it. All right, good stuff. What's that? Um, off in the distance, it looked like the northern lights or something like that. <laughs> so really, all I want to do is locate this on the map so we can fast travel back to this area. Don't want to get in the water too much. We'll jump over here. Almost there. We've almost locked, unlocked it. There it is. So let's go ahead and fast travel back and take a small dump hey. in the workshop. So we can come back and um, and actually go through the plant. Make sure you get all your loot off of dog meat. Don't want to have him all full before you go. Dog meat, quit moving around, man. There you go. Of course, what's cool is you can hit R and take all of his stuff. So, do the fat wobble over here to the workshop, and we'll just dump it all in there. Um, 
course, I did put this on fast motion. You can go through and see what all, all I have in my workshop, but I have a ton of stuff in there right now, and I'm saving it so that we can have a lot in our inventory when we start building more. But also, some of these um, like guns and armor and things like that can sell for a lot later on. So when our barter increases, I think we'll we'll go back and do that. But let's trade. Let's uh, sleep for the night. Get the oh, Marcy, you're. You're wearing on my patience. Get out of my bed. It's like payback for when I put the dress on her. Three hours should do it. I want to at least have it daylight when we wake up. So we get the well-rested perk, which increases your experience uh, that you gain, I think, by five, if I'm not mistaken. So... Add some magazines to our magazine collection. It's looking pretty nice. Can't put burnt textbooks in there. Good deal. That's awesome. That's really cool. Um, all right. So we have a couple more settlers. We need to make sure that they have... Um, <laughs> there's a sad sack down there. Make sure that they have enough beds in here so we're going to plop down a couple more things uh, a couple beds and later on i'm going to come in here and add individ individual quarters so that they're not all sleeping in in one area without it being separated i definitely wanted to do some rearranging up here so that the uh, back of the wall was finished this one piece I can't, I can't get the final piece of the wall to fit in there it is no matter how, how hard I tried I couldn't get this last piece we'll get I even hit E I was moving it all around we'll have to put something there I just I couldn't get it but it's coming along pretty good um, you can add a, uh, a roof to this area if you want but I still think I'm pretty low on steel so I I'm not going to be able to put all of the roof in here and these little wood platforms you can actually add them to the sides if you want to add a third story to this which we, pr we probably will later on but I at least want to have some covering so we can put another bed in because we need one more bed for all, all of our settlers good deal I think that's a good looking base for right now even though it hangs over a little bit might add some walls or something just to make that look a little better we'll see if we can cook up some stuff um, let's look at that hardened armor too that will be our primary armor uh, going forward until we're able to find uh, some hardened leather armor or any other types of hardened uh, armor. I almost have... All I need is our left leg and right left arm, which I don't have yet. I just have the normal uh, raider arm and left leg. go it's looking good you can see your uh, right leg is is the hardened armor and the right arm too so let's see if we can take some of these mods off the other pieces of armor that we got and maybe apply it to our hardened armor um, you see if you go to no miscellaneous you can actually do that without using any screws or any um, adhesive or anything like that so Got the pocketed perk now, our mod, that we can add to any one of these pieces of our armor. This one has a lightweight uh, part of it, but we can actually add the pocketed to add more carry weight. We could do cushioned, which reduces falling damage. You could do, um, once you take off the mod, you can use it for all of your armor. Add pocketed to that one. 
pocketed hardened right leg or right arm. And later on, we'll we'll um, modify the name of this so that we know which armor is our um, primary armor. Let's cook up some grub so that we'll have a lot of health. Um, it will be able to restore health when we're going through the the factory. Man, we can make a lot of those. Ribeye steak. That sounds awesome. Alright. Can't make any soup or utility vegetable starches yet. I'm going to put this in fast forward because I, I wanted to plant a couple of plants, but again, I, I was trying to maneuver it around so it looked good. Um, we had all those tatoes that we picked up from um, the where whatever that place is that we're trying to help out right now. Uh, we had picked up like 12, I think. So even though they're only half a, a piece of food, we're going to use that so that we can come in here, we can pick up all the potatoes, pick up all the carrots, and pick up all the um, corn, I think, later on. And that with the purified water, we should be able to make vegetable starch. One of the things is that you have to assign a worker to each of these plants. Each worker can have up to six assigned plants. So you have to be very particular about who you want um, to do what. Definitely could use a little bit more defense because it's still in red. But again, we're, we're very limited on our uh, steel right now. So let's dump off all this stuff. And we should be ready to um, do some adventuring here in a bit. Drop all of these uh, random things that I just don't use. Burnt textbooks. I mean, mainly some of these mainly are for decorations and whatnot. Let's put on our armor. I so can't wait to get hey. that sword. That thing is going to be awesome. Good stuff. We'll see if I have everything. Yep. Got everything off dog meat. Let's put his little bandana back on. Hey, Codsworth. He's so cute. So cute. Yourself? I want to like see if I can put a hat course. on Codsworth. Because I think we have this uh, military hat. Militia hat. He sounds so dejected. <laughs> I feel so bad for not taking him as a companion. No? I guess I can't equip it. I guess it's just specific, uh, specific hats he can wear. Alright, so we got all the defense, all the things that Sturgis needs to complete the Sanctuary quest. Got work to do. Which Can't is one of that. the first quests you'll get in the Minutemen um, quest line. Where is Sturgis? I hear him. Then why'd you say that? Where is this guy? Maybe he's around back. No? What gave you the idea we're friends? This guy needs, feels like he needs to do some work. And we're going to assign him to something later on. This place is starting to feel Where like home. the crap is starting. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really uh, make a go with this. Can't that girl. Trouble is, the more we establish you ourselves are. here, looking everywhere the more for of a you. target we become. What we need is to get some defenses set up. Then maybe Preston will be able to relax a little bit. What sort of defenses did you have in mind? Walls, sandbags, turrets, whatever you can put together. That should be it. It's still in red.
trying to add some little sections, but again, my steel and, and uh, wood are really down right now. Let's assign this guy to a mutt fruit. And we should be good to go. Just go talk to Sturgis now. Hopefully he's around back. Oh, there he is. Thanks for doing that. We'll all sleep better at night knowing we have some defenses set up. It's been a long road. But yeah, I think this is it. Home. Oh, feels good. What next? Well, I guess figuring out how to get back to living instead of just surviving. Of course, you know you're welcome anytime. My door's always open to you. Windows, too. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. I guess I better get back to it. Take care now. Good deal. We completed that quest and almost leveled up again. What now? So we need to go to Diamond City. We need to complete this uh, Cordova plant. Corvega plant. I've been saying Cordova. Corvega plant. All right, let's level up. We've got a level to use. Of course, we can upgrade our locksmith to expert, which would be very helpful. Um, scrapper, got attack dog, armor, which would be helpful. I really need to get something for my melee weapons to increase their damage. Scrounger would be helpful for more ammo. Toughness is always helpful. I think I really need to upgrade my uh, attack need blacksmith all this stuff we really really could use but local leaders what I'm going to go for because once we open up more of our little sanctuaries and things like that we can establish a um, a supply line that way you're not having to transport a bunch of steel or buy a bunch of steel or concrete or whatever um, to your other other settlement Trust me, it's one of the reasons that we had six uh, char charisma perks at the very beginning. Um, or at least five and added the charisma through the special book. Because you have to have that local leader perk if you're really looking to build your settlements and, um, and increase the happiness level of all of your settlers. See, I don't like that you can't assign Sturges to do something. But it's kind of dead weight. Anything? Let's assign someone to be the supply line. Alright, this dude, he's pretty useless. Let's make him go on the supply run. And once you designate him with the you know supply line, he'll always be supplying stuff to that area. Now the red rocket has everything that we have in our workshop, which is very handy. Um, this wood right here, we scrap it. It is now available at the Red Rocket, and we can build up that settlement. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much.